Blue Jays pitcher, it's Alc Manoa against Sandy Alcantara. So it's also Marlins against Blue Jays here. Um, I'll go first. I don't think I've gone first yet. Um, when I was diving into this one, uh, you know, I, I like Alcantara a lot. Um, but I mean, Manoa's fastball is actually kind of like on the same level as Alcantara's sinker. Not the same pitch, obviously, but in terms of the numbers, they actually have similar um, weighted on base averages with their fastballs, which is a fancy way of saying that they are good. Um, <laughs> I don't want to get too deep into that, but 288 for um, Manoa uh, weighted on base percent uh, average. And then Alcantara's is 280. So just 0.08 higher. But if you look at the expected batting average, Manoa is actually a full, you know, 0.1 below Alcantara's expected batting average. So Manoa's fastball, you can make an army is actually better than Alcantara's slider, which is, or sinker, which is his elite pitch. But then you also look at the whiff rate. Manoa has a better whiff rate at 24 years old. I think he is poised to become a star pitcher. Um, just looking at these numbers when in his rookie year, um, if he can find some consistency, I think he's better than Mano- uh, Alcantara any any year. So I'm going with, I'm going Mano on this one, even though I love Alcantara. See, I kept an open mind, man. I kept wow. an open mind. I let the numbers wow. tell me what to think. Wow. So what do you think, Robert? Yeah, this was tough for me because I wasn't a Sandy Alcantara fan, as you know, Luke. And then all of a sudden I'm jumping on the bandwagon after the last year seeing all of his good stuff. But I like Alec Manoa quite a bit as well. So it was really tough for me. Sandy possesses 365 plus pitches on the 2080 scale with nasty stuff. You talk about a hard sinker. You're talking about a good breaking stuff. He doesn't really miss a lot of bats, which is something that I know Nick has already mentioned uh, earlier on in this uh, series that we've done. But Alec Manoa's got that nasty curveball. He's got good movement on the two-seamer, just like Jose Brios, if not better. But I, I'm more concerned if it's going to play long-term. I think he has a good fastball, but I think he still needs to get more velocity on it. So personally, I'm going to go with the right now. I'm going with Sandy Alcantara. And the only reason is because I just don't know if Manoa's going to get more oomph on his fastball. I'm a huge Manoa fan. I think he's got an enormous upside. I told Jacob he has potential to be a, 20, a top 20 pitcher in baseball in the next few years here. But Sandy Alcantara has got some of the raw stuff you're going to find in baseball right now. And if he starts missing bats, who's going to stop him? He's going to end up being the ace of the Marlins. So I'm going with Sandy on this one. Uh, Manoa's close, but not close enough, unfortunately. Whoa. I thought I was going to be an island here. Um, (laughs) I'm going to stick with my Alcantara pick from previous uh, episode. I for the same reasons, I think he's got that. I mean, that elite sinker, I mean, he's six, five coming downhill. Um, and that sinker just eats up right. He's coming in on them. I like Manoa. I think he's got some quality stuff. I, I do like his fastball, but his problem is I think his pitches start to float a little bit. If you watch his videos, his slider will start to float to the middle. His two seamer starts to float to the middle and it gets hit hard. And that's my concern with him is if is, is that two seamer, what's it going to happen? Is it going to get any more? I think he overthrows it and that's the problem. It's a 93. It's not the big 95. If he learns to use it, I think he's better. But to me, Alcantara, he already has that. 100 mile power sinker yeah it goes up in the zone sometimes but late in the game it it drops down like all sinkers do but he has a four pitch mix and i think he's got four great pitches um his curveball is not good but that's 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 gonna be on the way out here soon but he has his slider is electric i think that's gonna has potential to be way better than his sinker um and it was this past season so to me i think alcantara takes the cake on this one the, the one thing I want to point out quick is the two guys that these two guys will get much better if they use pitch sequencing better. I think they just need to get better at throwing off their best pitches and they mixing it up a little bit better. And then these two guys are going to get much better.